Hello everyone, this is Lolly from Next PCB. Here's our Shenzhen headquarters. Today we're gonna to show you around our PCBA factories in Dongguan. Are you ready? Let's go! Our PCBA process is divided into five processes. The first step is preparation before the production. Before starting on a new project, our engineer will perform DFM and DFA review on the production data provided by our clients. The review process verifies the completeness of the data and ensures the design is within the factory's manufacturing capabilities. In addition, DFA review verifies the selection of components and their footprints and look for any problems that may affect assembly. By performing documentation review as early as possible, we can resolve errors in advance and ensure a smooth assembly process. This is the warehouse where we keep clients' PCB and components. The PCBs are also produced by Next PCB to ensure the consistent quality and ensure they are compatible with our facilities. Components are categorized accordingly and undergo incoming pass inspection for quality control. This is the beginning of the surface mount assembly process. The plain PCB boards are fed into the line one by one by this PCB loader. Then the PCB goes into the soldier pass applicator where a squeegee pushes soldier pass through a custom stencil and onto the pass of the PCB. After this step, the PCB goes through a SPI machine which detects any issue with printing steps. When the machine displays pass, it indicates the pass is uniform and complete. The board then enters the pick and place machine where a high speed head suctions up parts loaded into the feeder and then place them accurately onto the soldier pass cover pad. This is the Siemens machine which can place more than 120 parts per hour. The high speed and precision ensure the fast delivery. Then the PCB goes into this long reflow oven. Inside, the PCB bowl will go through four separate zones controlled at different temperatures. The objective of the reflow is to raise the temperature enough to melt the soldier pads to form the soldier zones and then gradually cooling the bone to solidify the connections. After reflow, we use an AOI machine to inspect the board's what tests and errors. This machine has a defect detection rate of 99%, which is much better than human inspection, but much faster and reliable. Through-hole or THD assembly is for soldering through-hole parts like this one. A dedicated THD assembly line like this one is a highly efficient way of soldering many through-hole parts at once. The boards go through the wet soldering machine, where the molten soldier is pumped to create a continuous wave. After all components have been soldiered, AOI machine and technicians inspect the boards again to ensure there are no defects, such as pseudo-soldiering, pre-soldiering, or bridging. This step is crucial in the quality of the zones. For boards with sensitive or irregular through-hole parts, that cannot undergo wave soldering or reflow soldering. Selective wave soldering can be used. The machine moves a miniature soldier wave across selective zones according to a preset program. In this way, it can avoid sensitive components, which is particularly useful for double-sided mixed technology boards. Firstly, the boards undergo a visual inspection to check for external defects. For large volumes, a random sample of boards is picked out for inspection. The number of boards inspected depends on the IPC class requested by the clients. X-ray inspection is used to inspect the joints of components not visible from the outside, like BGAs, for example. Technicians place the ball into an X-ray chamber and look for soldier bridging, hole joints, or opens. We can provide customized functional testing for our clients. Functional testing checks the functionality of the ball. The operating conditions are simulated and technicians 
look for the correct response in more complex systems where software testing may be required. Functional testing verifies the entire turnkey assembly process and ensures the devices work before being shipped to the customer. Once the boards are fully tested, it's time to pack and ship to the clients. Workers carefully put each PCBA into ESD shading bags or anti stacky bubble wrap and then wrap into the compartmented boxes. The boxes are sealed and then ship directly to the clients across the world. Now you know how PCB assembly works at next PCB and how they maintain high quality standards. Whether you need prototype, small batch or mass production, make the right choice and choose next PCB. Visit our website at nextpcb.com and get in touch.